Hi everybody. So first of all, I have to apologize for not putting out a video yesterday. Something happened and uh, I just didn't have the energy to put out a video. Um, not trying to make excuses. Yesterday was a busy day as usual. We were editing videos. Uh, Satoshi went to bed um, around midnight and then I stayed up to edit the video. And um, after I finished, I checked my messages and I got a message from my best friend, uh, my best friend who lives in Hawaii. We went to school together. We, we've known each other since kindergarten and uh, we're still very good friends. And um, because he lives in Hawaii, we don't get to see each other as often. When we do get together, it's like nothing has changed whatsoever. We can not we, we can be apart for a year, two years, three years, and still, you know, we're still the best of friends. And he's like a brother to me. He's family, no matter how much he pisses me off, you know, he's going to be part of my life until the day I die. So this friend of mine, he rarely posts on social media and he had written that something dramatic had happened in his life. So I messaged him directly and he told me that his mother had a massive stroke. And you know, I, I, I've known his mother ever since I was kindergarten. And every time I go back to Hawaii, I make it a point to visit her. She's the nicest of the nicest, really. She's like a second mother to me. The, 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 the last time I saw her, she was fine. And um, every time I go, I wish you know I could spend a little more time with her. So, so when I heard that she had a massive stroke, I, I, I was in shock. So I chatted with my friend a little bit uh, on Messenger and um, you know, I mean, he's, he's, he seems to be doing okay. Either that or he's just covering up his feelings right now or he's just in shock. First of all, I felt bad that I couldn't be there um, for the mother, but I also was frustrated because I couldn't be there for my friend. So last night we chatted for about half an hour and he was just about to leave to the hospital. I told him to keep me up to date. And uh, today I woke up, we chatted some more um, and apparently, you know, she's not doing well. I mean, she's not responding. So she's hooked up, she's hooked up to a machine and um, they're most likely going to take her off the machine this week and so my mother and I we sent her a voice message um, so that maybe he could uh, uh, let her listen she, he says that maybe she can hear she just can't do anything else so if that's the case we just wanted to um, say something to her I woke up this morning, I thought about it, and, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna go fly on a plane. I know I have a lot of work to do and, you know, videos to make, but I thought, he needs me there. So I looked at uh, the fares, and they were quite reasonable. I was gonna go, and then I realized that I don't have a passport right now. It's ridiculous. I. My passport was about to expire, so so I went to renew my passport um, just yesterday. Yeah, just yesterday. And so they said it's going to take about a week and then I'll get my passport. Um, not only that, to go to America, you have, you have to apply for an ESTA if you are a foreigner. And it takes uh, three days once they approve your application. So I just thought, okay. That's frustrating. I can't be there for my friend. That's the reason why I didn't make a video. This is not the first time that I became close to a friend's mother. I was very close to one of my ex, ex-boyfriend's mother who lived in um, Palm Springs. Yes. 
and um, I used to visit her all the time and uh, she used to make me my favorite lasagna because I used to love lasagna back then and we would talk all night and then um, when was that? I think it was about maybe hmm, I don't know 15 years ago or something um, I got a call from my ex saying that um, his mother committed suicide and um, yeah and he said he he just wanted to tell me because you know she always talked about me she said that she missed me when when my ex and I broke up I remember talking to her on the phone and uh, she was crying <laughs> and I was crying too uh, just because you know we felt like you know once you break up with your ex you know your relationship changes with the mother as well I just regretted not being able to um, visit Hawaii before my friend's mother got a stroke and you know I guess you know all these things go through your mind when something uh, big happens like this one but um I feel I feel like I'm being a really bad friend I can't be there for my friend and um I regret so much that I couldn't visit Hawaii earlier. Now, of course, I would never know that she would get a stroke, but um, yeah, it's too late now. So I didn't feel like making a video yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I just feel really bad for my friend. He's an only child, and his father's gone, and his siblings, because they're from a different father or mother, I can't remember, but, you know, he doesn't get along with them, and they treat him like shit. So, I know he's alone, and I feel really bad not being able to go. But, uh, yeah, I knew I had to uh, put on a video today because I promised you guys I was going to. But uh, sorry for making another depressing video. Sorry for bumming you out. I hope, I hope I didn't depress you too much. Um, but I guess that's life, right? That's life. And, you know, um, I guess I can only do what I can do. And I hope that's enough. I hope that's enough for my friend. 